Blisherl can also be used to export the data and we can use that export functionality uh, via MIF. So in this particular case, what happens is that this publish channel, which is associated with an object structure, we shall be able to export the data associated to that particular application. And uh, in this particular example, we have work order. So we have defined the different fields over there. So we shall be able to export a data. So in order to do that, uh, click on data export. It goes basically shows this particular uh, dialog box where we will actually be able to put the condition if you are going to put no condition and you are going to put so example one equal to one it is going to export all the data you can also export data into batches this is a new functionality which has been added into 7613 and then obviously you can also limit the how many records has to be exported so this is to ensure that you are not exporting lot of data one thing to understand is that we have to be very careful when we are using this functionality because right now when are you going to export it is going to hit a JVM and then that particular JVM will be doing all the processing required right so in that particular case you may run into a performance related issues because if there is a lot of data it has to be exported so if you are using bulk data uh, for exported you have bulk of data to export use the batch functionality right which has been uh, as i said added into the newer version of maximum it is not there in earlier one so now in this particular case let us see if you want to do the export so here what i have done i have basically um, you know uh, filtered some records so i want to export the work order information for a particular asset so my asset is this and i want to export all the work order which are associated with this particular asset so in this particular case what i'm going to do i'll come back and i am going to put the condition as asset num and then I will do OK. So if I do now, and if I go to message tracking, I shall be able to see this particular message. You can always see that SQ out queue has done the processing and it was received first and then the data has been processed. And then if you click, you can see the XML. Another thing to notice here that you might be able to see that there we only had two work order, but here the message which has been exported is actually more than two. So these are actually not duplicate, but what actually it has done that it has also exported all the different tasks which are associated with this work order. So this work order may have some task and those tasks. So see, you have nine tasks here. So that has been exported. And as uh, the concept goes, we know that this particular external system had a publish channel and which is associated with an endpoint that is a database table. So if I come to this database table and if I going to query, you will see that now all the tasks associated with that particular database table has and the work order has also been associated associated this particular thing has been exported. Say you have a requirement that you want to actually export the data in form of a flat file then in that particular case you can come and you can actually change this endpoint here or you can also associate actually change the endpoint which is associated with the individual publish channel so in this particular case if i want to do flat file there is no specific directory has been given so in this case the data has to be exported at mia global directory so i will do that and then say now this time let me say that asset number equal to And let me say that is task equal to zero, right? So, and let me say, okay. So now uh, this transaction is complete here. Let us go and let us check message tracking. So in the case of message tracking, you will see that there should be a new message that has been created. And then if you open this, you can see that there are only two work orders because now we have said that is task equal to uh, zero, which means that we are actually trying to export only the parent work order. We don't want any, uh, you know, child, the task associated with that. And if I go to Mia Glue directory, how you will go? 
you have to check system property in the system property you can search global so you can see that this mia global directory is associated right now at c drive temp let me go to c drive temp you can see there is a folder flat file has been created and then there you go there is a file which is generated just now by default the extension is that and if i open this you will be able to see that a file has been generated where all the information which was there on these parent work order has been written so this is how you actually do the data export using uh, publish channel uh, and all the other concept applies to the same whether it is data export or whether you are trying to process a data using an uh, event listener whatever processing rule you have applied whatever other logic you have applied whatever object structure and endpoint is associated publish channel will be following that and accordingly it will be either writing the data using event listener or you will be able to do data export by clicking the data export button and giving the condition manual.